Hey, welcome back. Ooh, crazy times. Uh, Deadly Northern Lights, so a little bit of an update on that. Uh, and then, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna flip the camera around for you. Just look at some pictures of the game while I chit chat and, and walk you through what's going on here. So some, just some, some happy snaps of the game and you know, who knows what'll pop out. Uh, but I wanted to catch you up because I haven't posted anything for a couple of days on Deadly Northern Lights. And that's prim primarily because <clears throat> I, I got up uh, super early, uh, I guess Saturday morning and uh, was playing and thinking, oh, this is great. And it was moving some convoys and moving some task forces from the US to Europe. And I went, oh, uh, I could actually move further than I thought. Uh, did all that, played for a good hour and a half and really got lots of good progress and ran some uh, air missions and follow on activities from moving those convoys and uh, flew some guys around by helo to air bases so that they could all, you know, all start to reinforce Norway. But very excited about accomplishing a lot of stuff. And left the game for the rest of the day, had a bunch of stuff to do around the house and uh, sort of busy work and was also kind of distracted from uh, sort of life stuff going on here with the family and the house and everything else and the whole, you know, shut in and all this BS that's going on. So. Uh, fast forward to seven or eight o'clock at night, and I am having my uh, had made margaritas for for uh, one of my boys, uh, and he was uh, hanging out with a couple of buddies who come over to visit. So I made them some margaritas. I had half a margarita, and then I made a Manhattan and I had a Manhattan. And I came downstairs, and I'm sitting down, and I'm looking at the game, and I'm thinking, oh, I'm gonna wonder if I could. Uh, I realized I hadn't put all of the reinforcements for the turn in and, and I also had the opportunity to, to select additional reinforcements that you pay VPs for. I thought, mm, you know, I really probably should bring those in. And then I started looking at the map going, well, how am I going to get them to where they need to be? And I started counting uh, the spaces and looking at getting the ships back from, uh, from Europe to do the transporting and all that sort of fun stuff. I realized that I had over moved and I don't know how I'd over moved because it was some randomly foobard counting exercise at seven o'clock in the morning, arguably on my second, maybe my first cup of coffee. And I was like, hang on a second, I just, this, what, what did I do this morning? What the, f the heck is going on here? And I went back through the rules, I looked at the charts, it's like, there's no way that those units could have conceivably gotten there if I'd looked what was I looking at that made me think I could move where I could? So I didn't get to the bottom of it. I got totally hacked off. I just said, right, I'm done for the night. And I haven't touched the game since. I literally, uh, so it's Monday afternoon now. Haven't, haven't touched it, looked at it. I've done a little bit of writing around it. I have looked at the board, trying to come up with a rationale, uh, A, for what I did, B, how I could fix it without having to undo a significant number of things because some of the activities that had occurred in the game were good for both sides uh, and it would uh, make it would really interrupt the narrative particularly given that I posted already and and so you know I'm kind of pissed off right so long and short of it uh, I think what we're going to do is uh, uh, assume that turn three is some sort of uh, uh, uneasy ceasefire and there will be a, a compromise between both sides that there will be you know folks will move around and do some things but there'll be no proactive combat and then come turn four we'll have a end to that ceasefire and we'll kind of continue the game from there and I think if we do that that will basically reconcile the uh, incremental movement that the uh, U.S. task forces made. It will give uh, the Soviets, it won't disadvantage the Soviets as significantly as if uh, I, we had kind of carried through with everything because we, we basically hop skipped uh, a, a significant amount of air power and then used that air power to the detriment of the Soviets. And I think we need to give them an opportunity to get back in the game and allow them to do their thing, right? Uh, <clears throat> since they had 
been struggling in the north anyway. So all this is sort of bubbling and, 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 and percolating inside my head and I was getting kind of wound up about it. And just in the last five minutes, I think I kind of come to the conclusion, this is how we can kind of move forward and, and keep playing the game. Otherwise, I was, I was either gonna have to reset uh, just just so that I, because I want to not only just play the game accurately as possible and I've made several significant mistakes there's no question about that but because I'm writing about it and posting about it and doing that in almost real time I don't want to give people a, a false sense of how the game plays and that would be disingenuous of me to say that oh yeah the, you know the Americans uh, dropped off all these uh, air, airplanes and reinforcements and all these things happened yeah. on turn two or turn three and really it should have been turn four or turn five and so we want to at least you know keep it within the bounds of some sort of reality so this video hopefully will be a little bookmark for all the folks who are watching the videos and doing the reading and you can see hey here's, here's what happened and why and uh, I'll have a blog post on it as well. We'll kind of go for it from there. So, so there's that, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Uh, so that that's all I really wanted to share with you, uh, and show you a few pictures. Uh, but uh, I wanted to get the uh, get to the nub of it. The, one of the challenges with the rule book, <clears throat> which and which it, it in by no way, shape, or form does it uh, excuse my uh, level of play. Uh, but there are lots of little things that sort of need to be noted here and despite my underlinings on several different aspects of the game in the rules where I've highlighted things uh, I'm still uh, you know, seeing seeming to overlook these little items and it's almost like uh, I'm hoping that someone with some intelligence will make a little checklist uh, things not to forget perhaps uh, the, you know, around uh, naval units and air and, and uh, uh, some of these uh, uh, trickeries with uh, unit losses and small scale combat and stuff, things of that nature and when, when zones of control do and don't apply. It's all very, very relevant and important and it's also uh, readily apparent when once you realize the mistake and you go back and look at it, you go, oh yeah, of course, I, it's the rule. I had highlighted that, but I forgotten to act on it. Uh, and then once you've made that mistake, you will not forget, I assure you, because uh, some of these little, uh, these little rules are important. Anyway, just want to share that with you. Kind of, I'm gonna get that off my chest. It's not a, it's not a mea culpa, Dan. It's just a uh, just an update on the game here, and I thought I'd share that with you. We're going to carry on with the balance of turn two. We're going to do some uh, non-combat movement for turn three, and then we'll pick up gameplay at the top of turn four with the Soviets, and we'll see what happens from there. And I'm looking forward to sharing the rest of the story with you in this uh, very interesting and highly narrative and very thematic game. So we'll talk to everybody real soon. I'll have a, a, a and just on that point, I will have uh, probably some final notes and thoughts on the game itself, uh, game system, game play, things to look out for. I, I know you can't go out and buy it today. It, there's, it's not available anymore. But for those of you that in the future, maybe you come across a secondhand copy or something like that and you want to decide whether or not you want to buy it, I'll be having a, uh, uh, you know, giving you my 10, 10 point view of the game in the next couple of days. We'll, we'll, we'll dig into that. All right. Talk to you soon.